a YouTube and F and True community. I am JC Siles. I'm Brian Crazy. How you guys doing? And uh, first, before first things first, we want to thank our subscribers uh, for their support. Uh, YouTube has backed us on our bragging rights video, and it is back up. F and True Wrestling has no remark, uh, no marks on their record. But we aren't taking down that nice little video we did about the WWE because that we still feel that way. We still exactly. feel that WWE let us disrespected us by going after us for no reason. Exactly. You know, um, you know they don't go after the bigger fish. They go after the little guys. Obviously, they don't go after the bigger guys because they make money off of them. But you know, the thing about it is, we were just speaking our minds. We're lifelong fans. Um, you and know, we were slapped in the face. Yeah, maybe listen to these fans' opinions a little bit, and uh, you won't stop losing fans day by day. Also, but, um, we also received comments. Uh, how come we're not doing a Q and A show? We've all we've stated this in past uh, things. We have, we want to get all 199 subscribers involved in our yeah, in our Q and A our, our Q and A show. Even if we could get a quarter of you guys involved, it'd be fantastic. So if you guys are serious, but about we're saying, not going to sit down in front of a camera and record a 30 minute video for from just one one person's ten exactly. Questions. Um, guys, we'd love to do it. If it's something that interests you, uh, we will insane, do it. Leave questions. If we can get uh, um, you know, minimum 10, 15 questions from 10, 15 different people. We'll uh, talk about doing, you know, maybe a 15-minute show like this, a minute of question or something. Um, so the title of the video, Sub Survivor Series 2010, 2010 Predictions. Predictions. I am not getting a message from the anonymous GM. I'm not going to say, and I quote, because we all know how we hate that shit. So... God. The first match they and that I, go out. the first match and no, I'm joking. Uh, oh. You have <laughs> Team Ray versus Team Del Rio. You have Kofi Kingston, Rey Mysterio, Masters, Show, and MVP versus Team Rio, which consists of Del Rio, Tyler Rex, Drew McIntyre, Swagger, and Rhodes. Uh, it's basically heel versus face in this match. It really is heel versus face. Um, um, we, are met, we are automatically know that uh, Rey Mysterio and Del Rio are probably going to be the last two in the ring. Uh, you know, a traditional style Survivor Series match usually goes for about 10 to 15 minutes. WWE chooses to do so, they could go maybe a couple of minutes more. Um, but I kind of see Rey Mysterio... Uh, let's see, they got one, two, three, four... Four, five. You got six matches. Six matches on the card. Oh man! In one traditional, well, uh, traditional Survivor Series match. Well, potentially we could end up seeing the uh, uh, Survivor Series match go for maybe even as long as a half hour. But um, traditional. I, I mean, look at the traditional Survivor Series uh, elimination matches I, that they've had. But you got to think of it this way: nothing in the WWE is following tradition anymore. No. The you closest have, thing he came to tradition was old school Raw. On Monday night, which they did pull off pretty well. Uh, yes. Me and JC uh, were in the process of making a video for that. Fortunately, we had some problems with the equipment. If we're able to retrieve the video, uh, we'll put up what we have of it. Um, we have the next match on the card is Morrison versus Sheamus. Uh, you know, this has kind of been building up for the last couple of weeks. You had Morrison versus... I mean, Morrison's uh, been kind of coming to uh, Santino's aid a lot. And I'm thinking maybe this might be John Morrison's rightfully rightful push in the in the main event. I mean, he's going against the main event top I mean, dog. Sheamus is the man that took out Triple H. So wouldn't it be natural uh, that they push another superstar off of him. I mean, he's already a uh, multi-time former WWE champion. ECW um, champion, I believe. ECW. Yeah, he was ECW champion. I, uh, I think he was FCW champion. I mean, this guy has a lot under his belt for, you know, the short amount of time that he's been in the ring. But the thing about... Um, the thing about this match, I mean, predictions. Who do you think is going to win? Oh. Is it going to be this uh, Starship Pain or the Brogue Kick? I really have a feeling that... Uh, That if they do what's right here, that they'll push Morrison and we'll see Starship Pain. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to see in this Morrison win this match. I mean, he is definitely deserving of a main event push. He's been misused for the last couple of months, kind of just laying dormant in the mid card. He's ready to bust out of his bubble and do something. And let's just really see what happens uh, later on. We exactly. Have, uh, the well, next we match next. we got Nexus, Heath Slater versus Gabriel. Uh, Heath Slater and Gabriel versus Santino and Kozlov for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Now, uh, to be honest, if they let Santino and Kozlov get a clean finish here, um, 
What does it say about the WWE in competition? Um, Kozlov is a fantastic fighter. Um, Santino came in the WWE. I mean, beat Umaga for the Intercontinental With Championship. With the help of Bobby Lashley. Yeah, the boss. Um, well, he's the boss in TNA, but still, he's always the boss. But um, the thing about it is, you have is Sant Santino a serious competitor. He's I, not, I he's love not, Santino, but, but he's, he's not a serious, serious competitor. competitor. I would have rather have seen the Usos versus Nexus, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Because you would have had the 450 Slash versus, uh, you know, some of the high-flying maneuvers that the Usos bring to the table. Exactly. And it would have felt like a... It could have felt like a Cruiserweight Tag Team match. Exactly. Like in WCW. Yes. You, knew, you were feeling it. You yes. were feeling it. Um, uh, what do we got I want to see my boys Nexus retain because uh, the fact is that Santino and Kozlov aren't really... Kozlov... Serious competitor. Kozlov is a serious competitor. Kozlov, when he was first brought in, he was brought in for the WWE title picture. And then they... What did they do? As they always do. Drop the ball. ball. Yes, exactly. You have Team Lee Cool in a two-on-one handicap match for the Divas Championship versus Natalia. I don't know why they're doing this. I think Natalia... I hope Natalia is going to win it because I love Natalia. She, you know, I've been preaching her for a while. She's deserving of a women's championship. The thing she about deserves, it is, She's though, probably one of the toughest in the business the right now. The thing about it is, though, is, yes, Layla, uh, his abilities are sometimes lacking. I do like Layla Cool. But, <coughs> Michelle McCool... Brings so much to the table, so much to the table. She's a fantastic competitor. I mean, um, basically, she does the Styles Clash. Yeah. Uh, I really want to see Natalia win it. Brian wants to see Team Lee Cool retain. So it's you know it's a fifty fifty. It's a fifty fifty. Um, you know what? You know Kane and Edge. You know. Really, Basically, I this mean, is what's gonna happen. Just, it, they built up Edge so much. Yet again, if they drop the ball here and do not pass the torch on to Edge before the end of this year, um, SmackDown's going to start getting stale again. But, is Edge the one to pass the torch on to, or do we wait to next month's paper? Hey, Brian, you up there? Yes. Here's your uh, Ollie. Thank you. Hey, sorry we were interrupted by our maintenance man, but uh, we were in the middle of talking about Edge versus Kane for the world title. Yes, um, and basically I think the point that I was uh, trying to make was um, I think they really need to pass the torch on SmackDown before it gets stale. Uh, thing being, is Edge uh, the one to carry the company yet again? Um, I guess we're just going to have to wait to Sunday to find out. Uh, Predictions, who do you think is going to win? To be honest, they spent so much time building Kane. I wouldn't the, the way the WWE yeah, but you know what, though, there's the no on people for six months. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, but the thing is, though, I mean, Kane has you know, Kane has no competition. I mean, what are they going to let Kane run rampant over the, the SmackDown until someone like Rey Mysterio beats him? Well, I think the thing about it is, um, you know, like they had last week, they had Kane go against uh, the Big Show. And I think that would be without the Undertaker. I think that would be yeah. Uh, but then if they give the say they give the title to Big Show, then who's there to contend with the Big Show except for Kane? There's I, no one there. It's like you got to put the strap on someone smaller so that way at least the storylines are believable. Big Show right now, to be, in my opinion, would be better suited on Monday Night Raw <clears> with yeah. those guys. And there should be CM Punk should still be on SmackDown with Edge and and with Christian and with uh, Del Rio and with Ray and the uh, a fast paced <coughs> high flying show of uh, you know a bunch of guys that uh, yeah but then again what's the point of putting all those guys on SmackDown if they might drop the tr the brand extension after WrestleMania next year yeah and they might uh, consolidate they the might, titles yeah, but that's right now that's some of the titles that right now is speculation so right now we have to see there's two ti uh, there's two brands and hopefully maybe they just uh, have more cross brand competition maybe what they should do is unify all the titles and just have cross brand promotions like they used to back in the day I mean you have your two shows but yeah. the only ones that are allowed to jump between show to show are the champions. I mean, that would make more sense than just having two well, titles, was, all these titles. That was the original concept. Uh, remember, uh, right off the bat, there was only the one championship into Eric Bischoff commissioned the World Heavyweight Championship on Raw. Then Stone Cold Steve Austin recommissioned the Intercontinental Championship the following year when he was GM. And then uh, the United States title was recommissioned. Uh, but whatever have you, um, what else do we have on the card? The last match, which is the last match that I think Ooh. everyone wants to hear. What our is going to happen? Are. You have Wade Barrett versus 
Randy Orton defending the title against Wade Barrett with John Cena as a special referee, free or fired. If Barrett wins, Cena is relieved of all Nexus duty. If Orton retains and Barrett loses, obviously Cena is going to be fired. And here's my stipulation. This is this is my prediction. I have two sides to this prediction. If or Barrett wins and Cena go and they go to kick Cena out, Cena will turn around and I believe will say, you know what? I don't want to be at a Nexus. And then I think this is where you'll where you'll see Cena, uh, where you'll see Cena kind of cement his 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 start push as a heel. Or if Orton wins. And retains, and they go to fire Cena. I believe McMahon will come out because we all know that they're not going to do it right at the pay per view. They're going to do it the next night on Raw. So I think that McMahon will actually come out and say, "Hey, well, you're not going to. John Cena is not fired. I don't know who this GM is. Blah blah blah. I don't know where he thinks he gets the stones to do this." Then John Cena is going to go. F you, Vince McMahon. He's going to take off his Cena Nation shirt, and he's going to be wearing the black and gold underneath. Well, this I think that's my prediction of what's going to happen. This is what I see. But do I see who, do I see Net Barrett getting the title? Seventy five percent yes. Do I see Orton retaining? Twenty five percent yes. This is what I see for uh, possible <coughs> uh, end games uh, for uh, you know the main event of Survivor Series. Uh, one, like Jay said, we could see John Cena somehow uh, join the Nexus after this event. Uh, Either way you look at it, it would, it would, be, some, it would be somehow in conjunction with David Otunga. Uh, I don't know how that would exactly go into play, but it would involve pushing Barrett out because of Barrett's either win and then immediate loss to The Miz, which yes. is possible, or... Um, I mean, there's so many different ways. I mean, yeah, there's also an outcome of, of Barrett winning, and as soon as he's relate, when John Cena is relieved of his next he attacks, team, he attacks Barrett, and Miz comes out and cashes in. Or the Nexus comes out, pummel Cena. Or how about this one? How about if John Cena, because he's so desperate to be free, helps Orton win the title shamelessly, just basically gives him the strap. Or and, <coughs> and Cena now go after a grudge. Cena's free of the Nexus, but now you see. But Cena. no, because but if, no, if Orton, if Orton, John Cena, lo if Orton does not lose the title. Well, that's what I'm saying. Orton Cena's loses. Is, Orton loses the title because Cena just helps bear it. He just says, "Fuck it, I'm not doing the right thing." I'm no, free. but you just said you just that, said that, that's what I was saying. I, I just, just just hear me out. Barrett wins the title. Cena helps him get it. Now Orton's fucking out for blood. He's out for Cena. Yeah. Now we're going to see Cena become vicious to defend his territory and defend himself. Is this how we're going to see John Cena become a heel? There's so many different possibilities. What do you think? Is Barrett getting the title on Sunday? I don't know. Like I said, there's a 75% chance he might. Is and Miz getting the title on Sunday? I don't know. I mean, it's a 50-50 because I believe that Miz is probably going to cash it in on whoever wins it because obviously you know at the end of the match... If Orton wins, he's gonna. They're gonna jump Cena. And, I, really I mean, they're see, gonna jump Orton, and jo Orton's gonna wind up getting his ass kicked, and then that's when the Miz is gonna come. Out. I really see that the Miz might uh, hold on to the next pay per view. I think that's something that we could uh, see. Because I mean, what's the build up for the next pay per view currently? Nothing. Nothing. But you still have the money in the bank. Uh, Kane used his immediately. Obviously, that's how he got over on SmackDown because there was no real other way to instantaneously get Kane over. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This could go... We could walk way. out of Sunday with Randy Orton champ, Wade Barrett champ, or The Miz champ. But if you had to ask my opinion, which that's kind of what this video is about, our opinion, uh, I'm saying The Wiz, uh, the, Wiz the Miz, or Wade Barrett. Yes. I do kind of go take a Wiz, though, and I probably will during that match. But, uh... So, this has been our 2010 Survivor Series predictions. Sure has. Uh, guys, we will be doing... Q and A. We don't know when exactly we will be doing it. Once we have enough questions, we will do it. Uh, send us emails, comments, questions, whatever you want. Subscribe. Pass us along to your friends because we are F and True Wrestling, and I am JC. You're either next us or against us. I am Brian Crazy. Please, uh, you know, uh, get your pets spayed or neutered to help control the population. Goodbye, everybody.